to me, this match is just another stepping stone for becoming the best in the world. <laughs> yeah, everyone's just freaking hyped to play, bro. They're not even afraid. Hello, this is Monkey D. Ryan. This will be my read through of Blue Lock, and I am now currently in chapter 109, and it's titled Battalion. Oh, and damn, we've managed to complete the Blue Lock 11, and we're gonna face off with Japan's U20. I wonder how, I wonder what the Japan U20 team is going to be. I did it. Isagi's been chosen as one of the 11 regulars who will play against U20. I was chosen. I am a member of the Blue Lock team. Oh, yeah, I didn't manage to predict uh, Baru too. Baru... Still, Baru managed to score a goal. And why is uh, why is Shido not part of the team too? That's, that's my questions for this one. God damn it. I have a question. I have a question, Ego-san. Why is Shido gone... Why is Shidokun not one of the members? He scored plenty of goals. He's number two, right? Yes, excellent question. Shidoriose had an average of two goals per match during the tri tryouts, demonstrating the makings of striker second only to Itoshi Rin. His be behavior outside of ma matches can cannot be overlooked, but it is also true that his physical abilities are extremely high. However, all the goals that he scored were a product of his own skill. In other words, during this tryout, Shidori Yose was unable to spark a chemical reaction even once with Itoshi Rin. Okay, so there is really no chemistry and there's just a lack of con compatibility between the two of them. And given the flagrant display of violence at the end of the match, if he were to do such a thing during the U20, he'd get a red card, putting our team at an overwhelming disadvantage. And so for those very reasons, I made a de decision that Itoshirin and Shiroyose should not stand on the same pitch. Okay, makes sense. Okay, now that um, Ego laid that out, it makes so much more sense. Well, yeah, after seeing those two, can't argue that. And above all, none of you would be able to handle the, ego the egoist known as Shiroyose. Uh -huh. Damn, the acid reflux is still getting me. <clears throat> As I said earlier, all of Shidori Yose's goals were scored on his merit alone. Someone who could understand his thoughts and raise the level of his play does not exist within Blue Lock. I mean, there's not, there's probably not a single person in the whole of Japan who can handle that guy. But it would be a waste not to make use of his abilities indeed. That's why if this team were to find it themselves in a pinch, he'd be a joker that would replace... Itoshi Rin. Okay. So he's another um strategy that Ego is trying uh is preserving in the event that they are in a pinch. Okay, makes sense. Ahem. As a powerful drug that could completely reverse the flow of the game, his job would be to switch with Itoshi Rin in a time of need. Okay, true. I see at least that was the plan. That was the plan? What the hell? But right after I'd realized the poster, uh, the roster, I got a call. It was from Buratsuta, the president of Japan Football, um, Japan Football Association. And he said that Itoshi Sei was dissatisfied with the forwards of U20. If we didn't accept Itoshi Sei's conditions, we would he would refuse to play the match and the match itself would be cancelled. In which event, Buratsuta threatened to simply, simply go ahead and shut down Blue Lock. And the condition he had was that Itoshi Sei... Oh, so the person that Itoshi Sei wants is... Ryusei? Damn! One person from Blue Lock to add to the UNT team three hours ago. Let me out, you fucking four. I, I swear I won't hit anyone anymore, okay? I know you're fucking listening, you're dead meat, you fucking fucking fuck. Damn, this guy's really freaking aggressive. Hello, my little demon. Who the hell are you? Blue Lock is a cage that is much too small for you. I will free you. I want your ego. Go wild for my sake. So are you gonna get a link of 
between these two. Oh my god, no wonder U20 it was so peak, bro. So we're gonna have to fight an international star in one of our own. And if they manage to spark a chemical reaction, damn. No one ah oh shit. The U20 team just has to have a decent amount of player. Uh yeah, players of decent quality in order to make this so much better. Maybe one or two of them would be would be a highlight so that it wouldn't be too centered with um Shido and Say. So and Itoshi Say chose not any one of you here, but Shido or Yosei instead. Ah, uh, that will get Rin freaking enraged, bro. He's in a sense. Look at that expression of his. For real, then Shido will play as a member of the U20 team against us. Okay, so they're still standing on the same pitch, but on the other side. Well, at any rate, this team has all was always going to center around either Itoshi Rin or Shido or Yosei. In my head, though, these were the only two viable options for Team Blue Block. Itoshi Yurin's playstyle involves his surroundings and synergizes with them. While at present, Shido Ryose will not think up with anyone, no matter who he teams up with. His play is self-sufficient. True. They may have, they may both have individualistic playstyle, but when pressed to choose between those two different egoisms i chose itoshi itoshi Rin, yeah uh, itoshi rin and itoshi say chose shido Ryose. as for which one of us chose correctly that will be determined in 15 days in front of the entirety of japan oh shit it's going to be live broadcasted ah, damn no wonder this is, this is going to make so much money additionally including those on the bench the team can register register 23 players the remaining 12 Players have not yet been set in stone. Those of you who did not make it this round, show what you can do and seize a spot on the bench. Oh, so even Rayo wasn't able to make the cut. Oh, okay, okay. I wonder if the tall guy would be able to make the cut. The marks That marks the end of the regulars announcement. Of the regulars announcement. There was a bit, reg irreg there was a bit of an irregularity, but the stage is now set. If you lose this battle, blue lock will be dismantled and your future will be crushed along with it. Oh, damn. Even their futures? Oh, and damn. Everything is on the line for this match. We have 15 days left in that remaining time in order to whip into shape a battalion. Oh, so that's where the, so that's where the title of the chapter comes in. A battalion to pulverize the Japan U20, U20 team you will undergo training to become a team venture forth with the resolve to risk it all you unpolished gems this there is no longer room for any flare failure Humph, how lukewarm of you four eyes to me this match is just another stepping stone for becoming the best in the world <laughs> damn let's go oh right on I've been all in with my life since the moment I set foot in it here. For real, I'm no idiot hit back out when I'm this far in. Honestly, it's pretty hype. Hmm, I'm looking forward to it. I wanna play already. Oh, everyone's just freaking hyped to play, bro. They're not even afraid because they they are already here staking their dreams in it, bro. The this is so cool, bro. That's right, being chosen as a regular isn't the end game. I, those of us in Blue Lock, excellent. Uh, we'll, we will win and go beyond to the world. Excellent show. Uh, Vegu is in Blue Lock's 11. We will now commence your last training camp. <laughs> the visuals is so good, bro. It's so good. I am getting so hyped just reading this. The life or death fight against the U20 approaches. No matter the opponent, we must win. So, if we're gonna get go for the bench, I'm pretty positive that we're at least gonna have Baru and Rayo within the bench. Rayo's newfound ability, the Chameleon, is gonna be a great all-rounder ability to fight against the 
yeah, to it has an all rounder util, utility. It can be used for attack, um, defense, even the transitions from defense to attacks or from attacks to defense. It's it's a really good ability to have. And we've also got another great skull, uh, a great scar within Baru. So I guess we can take Baru as well. Hmm. As for the others, I'm not quite sure. Maybe. Uh, I want Nanase and Hiori to be able to join as well. So maybe both of them too. Hmm. Is Raichi going to join us? Hmm. Igalguri, I, I don't see any utility with that monk, bro. Huh. Anyways, uh, every, th every chapter is just making me want to read the U20 arc more and more. So I guess that's all for chapter 109 and catch you guys in the next one.